Welcome to AETCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today, we are going to discuss about a drug, atropin. So, atropin is an anticholinergic drug. Atropin's action is it inhibits the parasympathetic system, wherein there will be cause an increased sympathetic overactivity, which will cause an increase in the uh, heart rate. Sympathetic activity increases the heart rate. And may, uh, mainly it is used in cases of uh, outside ear, it is used for ophthalmic uses where it is used as a midriatic. Atropin is available in a ampule form as well as vial form. Ampule form, 1 ml of ampule can contain 0.6 mg and also there is another variable where is 1 ml contain 1 mg. So for the uses, com uh, coming to the uses of atropin, Mainly, atropin is used for symptomatic bradycardia and OP poisoning in ER. In symptomatic bradycardia means there will be hypotension, there will be shock, there will be arterial sensorium or there will be chest pain. These are the and cardiac failure. These are the symptomatic uh, cases of symptomatic bradycardia. And here we use atropin as 1 mg stat followed by atropin if needed every 3, 3 to 5 minutes maximum to 3 mg. And it is all. It can be used in children at a dose of 0 0.02 mg per kg, maximum of 0.5 mg and minimum of 0.1 mg. And it can be given in IV, IO, or endotracheal route if IV, IO is not available. In case of endotracheal route, we have to give thrice the dose of normal dose. And the point had to be in uh, our memory is that atropin in case of cardiac transplant traces. Uh, patients here uh, the due to lack of uh, vagal innervation it won't be an uh, effective and uh, this is the same for in case of second degree type 2 block and third degree block and can be also be used for anti secretory uh, can be used as an anti secretory agent here uh, we use atropin to like 0.5 to 1 mg every 6 4 to 6 hourly Atropin is also used in case of organophosphorus and carbamate poisoning. Here, atropin is given like one to, uh, in mild and uh, organophosphorus poisoning has mild and uh, severe cases. In mild cases, 1 to 2 mg and in severe cases, 3 to 5 mg which are given as initial bolus doses. And this is repeated every 5 minutes by doubling it. So, if the initial dose is 2 mg, we will double it to 4. Then uh, if, if the secretion uh, and the doubling will continue till there is absence of bronchorrhea or bronchospasm. Like we will double the dose to 4, then 8, 16. So uh, the continuous doubling will be done and till there is absence of bronchorrhea, bronchospasm. And after it and there, after the absence of bronchorrhea, bronchospasm, we will start a continuous infusion wherein the total dose of uh, bolus doses are taken and 10 to 20 percent of this is given as continuous infusion and also atropin can be used in case of mushroom poisoning uh, where 1 to 2 mg is given and this is titrated according to the uh, symptoms. So uh, atropin's uh, pharmacokinetic indication. So the onset of action for atropin is uh, like 15 to 30 minutes in IM and immediate action in case of IV. And metabolism is through hep hepatic growth and half-life is like 2, 2 to 4 hours. And the IV dosing is 1 mg every 5 minutes for uh, in cases of symptomatic bradycardia. And otherwise already discussed in uh, organophosphorus poisoning, uh, initial bolus doses, uh, doubling bolus dose followed by continuous infusion. So the next part you have to think is about the adverse reaction following the in the admission at use of atropin. Here uh, the cardiovascular system mainly will have uh, atrial or ventricular arrhythmias, uh, fibrillation, AV dissociation, flushing, tachycardia main, mainly and sometimes even bradycardia. Then ECG changes can also be seen. In cases of CNS, you can see agitation, psychosis anxiety and also confusion coma in uh, other system in dermatological uh, we can see uh, as a, this is an anticholinergic 
there will be uh, dryness of skin uh, anhydrosis and uh, then uh, rashes which will cause hypersensitivity reaction and in metabolic uh, component we can have dehydration hyper hypoglycemia hypokalemia hyp hyponatremia and also there will be increased taste for the patients and in gastrointestinal and genitourinary system this will cause a decreased secretion and uh, decreased motility will, which will cause constipation vomiting and decreased urine output means the urinary retention can also be there then in case of blood parameters we can see leukocytosis uh, then uh, increase or decrease hb and abnormal erythrocytes and in muscle uh, you can see twitching and weakness of muscle in ophthalmic cases we can see abnormal eye movements and uh, blindness uh, in respiratory system we can see changes in respiration and also uh, already discussed we can see atropin uh, can cause uh, hypersensitivity reaction a decreased secretion in which will cause decreased sweating which will cause hyperthermia and also psychosis in uh, also can be seen due to administration of atropin then the other uh, things we have to note down is this uh, we have to be cautious while uh, administering atropin in case of uh, myasthenia gravis patients it can cause myasthenic crisis and the other thing is like in chronic lung diseases this atropin can cause uh, secretions which will uh, cause a uh, anti-secretory reaction will cause the uh, plaque formation in lungs which will can, can cause the de desaturation then the next one is glaucoma uh, the in glaucoma patients the atropin can cause and uh, precipitate an acute glaucoma and also in CKD patients this can in which again can cause renal impairment increased creatine values can be seen in case of CKD patients that's a natural about uh, atropin so we can uh, again uh, rethink what he has uh, studied mainly in ER atropin is used for OP poisoning and also in symptomatic bradycardia symptomatic bradycardia we give atropin as 1 mg doses every 3 to 5 minutes and in uh, uh, organophosphorus poisoning we initially give bolus doses of 2 mg uh, doubling doses and followed by continuous infusion of 10 to 20 percentage of the same this is about and we have to uh, look up for the adverse reaction uh, as already uh, explained and this is all about that dropping thank you